Hey audience, welcome to Monday. It is 420 somewhere and we are going to talk about weed news and things that are happening in the country based around marijuana. Today's kind of going to be an overall what's going on in terms of legalization. So it's going to be a bit of an update day where we look at the federal level and then we look down at the uh, the statewide level and see any states that are uh, trying to trying to build on their legalization efforts. So we're going to start on the federal level. And uh, as we talked about on Friday, the story still there is the story of Biden uh, firing people for past marijuana use. I do want to continue emphasizing that there has been alluded to uh, other reasons for their firings. There were five staff members who were terminated for past marijuana use. However, Jen Psaki, the press secretary, uh, tweeted at the time, this is exactly what she tweeted, the White House worked with the security service to update the policies to ensure that past marijuana use wouldn't automatically disqualify staff from serving in the White House. As a result, more people will serve who would not have in the past with the same level of recent drug use. Um, She then said she wouldn't get into specifics, but there were other reasons for their firings. So while it does seem like a like a less black and white story that they were fired for their marijuana use, it's still cause for concern and the fire is not going down. So he will probably have to address this at some point. News has also come out that before Biden got the actual Democratic nomination, he was meeting with a joint task force in Iowa and uh, marijuana had come up a lot at the time. It seemed clear to one person who was on the task force, uh, Stacey Walker, that Biden was more afraid of losing voters when softening his stance on marijuana than he was any other reason, any other principal reason. So here's a clip from that video. President Biden uh, at that time um had a view on cannabis legalization that was out of step with the majority of his party. I mean, this is an issue that Republicans are now starting to come around to. The president's team, and I think probably Mr. Biden himself, although we did not talk to him directly, uh, was potentially concerned about the political effects uh, that it might have with their own constituency and maybe costing them some votes in key battleground states rather than actually winning them votes as we believe would occur and, and, and mobilizing a hell of a lot of people around the issue. That was the exact conversation. If you want to be real, we were armed with polling data that suggested that a majority of Americans were in favor of the legalization of marijuana, but Vice President Uh, Biden at the time um, was really concerned uh, about how this issue could have impacted the outcome of the election. It became a question of how do we present this to the head of the party now, and and I say this respectfully, who has a view that is um, uh, perhaps outdated and out of step with his party. Now, first reaction to this, it seems extremely outdated that he would think that he would lose voters off of this issue because it's becoming so popular. Even then, less than a year ago, it it was extremely popular and even more so now. There's almost a silver lining to this, which is that it seems once Biden comes around to the idea and sees the popularity of marijuana legalization, uh, his stance could change because it's less about his own principles and more about fearing uh, a, a political downfall because of it. If anything, I see this as a good thing. Hey, does anyone want to buy some of this art? Psst, want to sell art online and make serious money? No, no more fan fiction art. Uh, no. We can attach a new thing called an NFT to your art. It's sort of like making this piece of art an online autographed copy. It works through blockchain technology, which also powers Bitcoin. Artists can get a percent every single time the NFT is resold. Yeah, sure. Whoa! All right, everyone, bidding starts at $100. This could be worth a lot. I'm a patron of the arts. $100. I want to brag about owning it. $1,000. I'm laundering money. I mean, I'm an art collector. $100,000. Sold. So can I, like, put it on a t-shirt? No, you don't actually own the rights to the art, but you do own this totally unique 40-character signature key. Um, Okay, so that's really what it's doing on the federal level, nothing substantial. However, we're getting a better understanding of how Biden's mental process is working there. Uh, On a statewide level, we'll start in North Dakota, where it is pretty close and well on the way to legalization. A bill legalizing marijuana for for people 21 and up, uh, up to one ounce, has passed the House and is now at the state Senate. 
where it will probably pass in this session that they're having right now. So North Dakota is well on the way. We're looking good there. Another state where we've been expecting legalization, legalization. Another state where we've been expecting legalizing marijuana for a good amount of time now is New Mexico. And the bill, the HR 12 is the bill there, has been kind of in limbo in, in the state Senate for a while now. The bill passed the House and has been waiting to be heard at the Senate, but uh, while it was expected to be heard on Saturday, the state Senate adjourned before it was heard, so that would mean that it would be pushed for the next year, which is absurd. So the, the governor, what's her name? So the governor, Lujan Grism, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I'm sure I did, Lujan, Lujan Grism. Anyway, the governor of New Mexico has vowed to uh, bring everyone back for a special session on March 31st to hear the bill and actually get it passed this year. There's been a there's been bumps on that road, just like there were bumps in the New Jersey road. All the all the new states, I think, have bumps when it comes to legalizing marijuana. Finally, New York is potentially one of the more anticipated states legalizing marijuana, and they've been negotiating the, the terms of the bill for a while now. Um, very recently, they had agreed upon revenue from the marijuana bill being returned to minority communities who are most impacted by criminalization. So once that hurdle has now passed, it's very very close and people are thinking that it might be passed by the end of this month, by the end of the month March. Things are looking good there. There was a bit of a snag when Andrew, when uh, Governor Cuomo had all of these allegations come out against him. He's no longer part of the negotiations, they're saying. Uh, it's just senior staff at this point. So he is out of the way and the, the negotiations for the bill have, have been kept up. So those are the three states that are looking to closely get towards legalization at different stages. And federally, we are still in this stage of waiting for Biden to actually say something about it. But that's it for today. We have more coming up on Wednesday and Friday of this week, and we'll see you then. Goodbye. Yeah, pulling out the cube in the light to the free 12, free swat. Busting out the bells at the box. Yo, I just had a. Yo! Yo, what? <coughs>